Hey, if you think the Jacana's extra long toes are cool that practically make it able to walk on water, have you seen the snowshoes that the ruffed grouse has evolved? And I just so happen to have a ruffed grouse foot right here. Check this out. So the ruffed grouse is a medium-sized bird in the pheasant family, the Pheasionidae, found across much of the northern United States and a huge swath of Canada. And they tend to be found in places that get a lot of snow. And so one of the adaptations they have evolved for moving more effortlessly through the snow are what we call pectinations. And you can kind of see those tooth-like projections coming off of the toes. And the pectinations are simply extensions of the keratin scales of the bird's foot. And just like when we put snowshoes on, which simply distribute our weight across a larger surface area so we're less likely to sink into the snow, the pectinations, when the bird steps down on the snow, spread out. Again, spreading the bird's weight out over a larger surface area, making it easier for them to walk on the surface of the snow instead of fighting their way through it. And one of my favorite things about pectinations is they reveal some of the elegance of evolution. Because ruffed grouse populations in the northern reaches of their ranges where they experience much higher snowfall than populations in the southern reaches have pectinations that are twice as long as the pectinations of their southern counterparts. So we see local adaptation to local snow conditions. Evolution is just so cool.